Hey guys, what's up? Quick advice for those of you out there trying to do, you know, trying to lose weight or trying to bulk and um, minimize uh, body fat. Uh, I call it a small way to do cardio. To be honest, you would never see me do typical cardio again. I mean, like, I'm talking about like just walking on the treadmill or, or um, fucking, you know, the stairmaster or just sitting there. You know, no, no. Especially if you're a bodybuilder, not only that's a waste of time. You know, no, no disrespect to the people that actually do it, but uh, I discovered better ways to do cardio uh, by using common sense and by looking at studies and looking at how the body works. People mistake cardio for walking because they don't understand really what cardio. Cardio is any really any exercise that increases your heart rate, meaning any exercise that recruits a lot of different joints, a lot of different muscle groups at the same time, like walking, you know, going up the stairs, whatever, because your body has to use a lot more oxygen to you know to make all of these muscles move at the same time that's why uh, HRT is so fucking effective as a form of fat burning because you so you're going so fast and you're moving so many body so many body parts at the same time that your body has to take in more oxygen you know which in, you know means your body burns more fat and stuff, stuff like that so if you hate typical cardio because I hate it because it's fucking boring I don't care how disciplined you are cardio is fucking boring so am I walking on a treadmill that's so boring you know Best way to do cardio, I believe, is to do either HRT or if you don't want to do HRT, if you're too obese or whatever, or you want to protect your joints, just do circuit training. You know, circuits. Excuse my fucking English. You know, I don't have an accent. I'm an immigrant, so fuck you. But um, for example, pick a light weight, right? Pick a barbell, right? Put like I don't know, 10 pounds, it depending on your strength, right? Maybe 20, 30 percent of your one rep max, and start doing circuits. Pick up the weight, start doing military presses, really fast to make your heart rate go up. Um, so that, so that you're done, put the weight down, do bent over rows, really fast. As soon as you're done, put it on your back, do squats really fast. As soon as you're done, start curling the bitch. Put it over your head, start doing, you know, skull crushes. It's a great way to do cardio without burning out your central nervous system because you're using so little weight that you're not really overtraining because to overtrain, you really got to use a lot, a lot of heavy weight. People think overtraining simply means you're hitting the same muscle every day. That's not overtraining. Uh, so you, you, you're shoving blood into the muscle, meaning you're going to get bigger quicker. I already made a video about that. Don't ask me how. You're always going to have a pump. And you're doing cardio while at the same time enhancing your muscle building abilities rather than just fucking walking on a treadmill all day. So what I do is when I do cardio, I I work out for 45 minutes. In the next 20, 30 minutes, I just do cardio doing circuit training. Power cleans with lightweight, uh, bench press with like the bar, things like that. That allows you to burn a lot of fat while at the same time enhancing your physique because you, you know, you're pumping, you're having to pump like every fucking day. So think about that, guys. That's not overtraining. Watch my videos on the topic, you know. Uh, you know what I'm talking about and add that to your routine instead of just walking on the treadmill If you have one guy who does cardio which is just walking for 45 minutes You have another guy who does cardio the way I prescribe after a year Who do you think is gonna have the best looking physique? Think about it. So just common sense use different ways Don't stick to the to the orthodox method of doing things look for different ways to burn fat while at the same time Enhancing your physique and that is by far the best way to do cardio Which is to actually use your fucking muscles, you know, just against minimum resistance this way you're not overtraining and also you could do that people that say well if i do that then what if i did shoulder that day or the day before i'm not recovering well then that means that after you do le legs you shouldn't walk then because you're fucking going against resistance you shouldn't go up a staircase you know you know use common sense uh the, the body does not overtrain you're not overtraining when you you're not overtraining when you um going against minimum resistance otherwise nobody should walk after doing calves or, or quads Nobody should ride a bicycle after doing legs, you know. But um, yeah, so add that to your routine, and uh, you you be amazed. All right, hope that helps. Once again, Team 3D Alpha serving the world.